What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here. In today's episode, episode 8, we're going to get into custom fonts. And custom fonts, this is going to be a quick tutorial. Not going to be too beefy. It's not going to be too complicated. What you will need is an unzipper or an unwar, but you can use WinRAW and downloading the font that you want. And I'm going to show you how to do it all right now. So first, get your font that you want. I already have my font. Oh, this is me. Okay, that's me too. Okay, I already have my font. It's called Rage. So I'm going to be using the font Rage. Now, the RP, um, the almost said RPG Maker, the Visual Novel Maker uses um, .woff files. That's what these are. If you export one of these, you'll see it's .woff files. And I'm going to get into how you can get it. So download a font that you want find it somehow in whatever font you want go in your folder look at your fonts so you're going to go to online font converter.com shout out to Kamira Kam Kamira for hitting up with the steam um go to online font converter.com again online font converter dot com and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to check this wolf file almost like wolf but two f's going to click that and you're going to select your font. Now I already have my font so once you go get yours, go get yours. I'm going to be using the Rage. So double click that and you're going to just click done because I put it in one file selector. Click done. What it's going to do is it's going to convert that font into a wolf file. So then I'm going to save my font. Down Now that's where I said you're going to need an unzipper or an, a WinRAW whatever. So I'm just going to download the attachment which you're going to get right here. I'm going to just show that in folder. Bring it down, pop that down here, pop that, minus that down here. We're going to go online font right there. Boom. And then I'm just going to open it. And then down here, we should get a folder of the online folder. So once you open that, you're going to get a readme text. You're going to get converted files. And then you have the wolf file. So I'm just going to drag that to the desktop. Now we don't need this anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And there we go. So now once that's all done, we have the files that we need. So now we're going to go into the Visual Novel Maker. And we're going to go click Import Resources. With this Resource Manager, we're going to go into Graphics, Fonts. Click the Import button. And then you have the Wolf file. So we're going to click that. So now it's in. Now you have it imported. You have the Rage Italic, which is what I decided to use. You have whatever one you use. Click the Close button. Um, in for the, and then we're going to go into our simple scene and we're going to turn on the message box visibility because we're going to use the message box visibility which is the default message box of Visual Novel Maker and then you're going to want to go to message settings and type in whatever font you're using I'm using the Rage font so just to show you that it works this is the Arial font as you can see we're using Arial it's like hey who are you so now I'm going to go give her my font which it's just a simple Rage let it, I'm going to save it. And then when we click the message, come on. There we go. It loads the scene. She pops in. The, the message settings is set. And now you can see we're using Rage. And this is the end of episode A. It's a short, quick episode of how to import custom fonts. Or say you make your own fonts and you want to use your own fonts in the game. There you go. This is how you import custom fonts into Virtual Novel Maker. I'm Cloud Knight from Nightview Entertainment. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date for more tutorials for Visual Novel Maker and everything Nightville Entertainment. I am Cloud Knight. Thank you for watching. God bless. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.